We'll do an overview of this study. And I'm Jeannie Dow with the Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation at Eastern Illinois University and in the project manager for this study. There are a lot of people, though, that we used to uh, gather this information. The researchers are listed on this slide, um, the late Dr. Waldo Bourne with Eastern Illinois University, Ms. Darlene Riederman from Eastern Illinois University, Mr. Chris Reynolds with Reynolds Research out of Springfield, Illinois, Dr. Mike Rudabaugh from Lakeland College, and Dr. Robin Hanna from Western Illinois University. Other people on the CSSI team are the interviewers who went out and talked to the companies and did turning points to the civic organizations. Those were Andrea Applegate with Crossroads Workforce Investment Board, Dave Arsenault with Eastern Illinois University, myself, Jeannie Dow, Caleb Freeman, a graduate assistant at Eastern Illinois University, Jim McChain of Crossroads Workforce Investment Board, Bob Stevenson with Crossroads Workforce Investment Board, and Brian Richardson with Eastern Illinois University. So you see we've gotten a lot of support from our partner, Crossroads. Uh, the administrative assistants were Laura Sutton and Jennifer Zuniga with Eastern Illinois University. The facilitator for the focus groups was Pam Schnonke with ELS Unlimited out of Decatur, Illinois. The graphic design and report was created by Alice Farron in Champaign, Illinois, Ryan Gibson with the CATS Department at Eastern Illinois University, and Antoine Thomas with the CATS Department at Eastern Illinois University. This was our timeline. It was a year long. We uh, created the questionnaire in July, and uh, we gathered primary and secondary information in the fall, from August to November. We began interviews, we did GIS maps, we completed those, and uh, we got many, many information with turning point throughout the region. In December, we analyzed the data, and then January, February, March, we started doing, really January, February, March, April, we did the um, focus groups, and we had 12 focus groups throughout the region. And then we compiled the report in May and June, and the report was available and online June 30th, uh, 2008. The first step was to gather secondary data. Uh, usually you get secondary data through library or off websites. Uh, things we included in our secondary data were the number of businesses in the regions, the employees' personal income by sector, current trends and commuting patterns. We also used in-plan analysis, which is a trending uh, forecasting tool to see what it will look like in the next few years in this region. And we identified employees' educational levels and underemployment characteristics. Then we went out, we did face-to-face -face interviews with three sectors of the industry, manufacturing, healthcare, transportation, and logistics. They could uh, talk with one of our interviewers or they had the option to go online and do it at a secure website at the EIU database. We also sent them out and oversampled and did, doing a written survey uh, to some of these groups also. I think there was a total of 1,583 that were interviewed. The community input. We went out to civic groups throughout the region. We used Turning Point, which is an instantaneous response unit uh, that works with a PowerPoint. So we would have a PowerPoint. We would ask them questions. People would say, I you know, check one, two, or three, and uh, that's how we got input. We had approximately four to 500 people with Turning Point responses. Uh, we did a civic group, at least one per county, uh, plus some in other larger uh, population areas. Next, we analyzed the data and we put them into maps uh, through ArcGIS Business Analyst. We also did career cruising, which was to talk to the high school. Uh, there's a career cruising software the high schoolers take to say what type of jobs they are looking at when uh, they are looking at what careers they want to go into. And we also analyzed the primary data from the surveys. The next step was the root causes and solutions. How did we get to, we wanted to verify that uh, groups agreed with what our secondary data came up with. So what we did, we had three half-day sessions and we divided them 
by three regions, so no one had to drive too far to give their input. We also divided them by sectors, so we would have a health care um, focus group for each of the three regions, a transportation logistics focus group for each of the three regions, a manufacturing focus group for each of the three regions, and we had a general technology group for two out of the three regions. In those, we identified the root causes for the shortages and the solutions um, to the skill shortages that were identified. Here is the focus groups, the regional division. The red indicates the north region, the blue indicates the south region, and the green indicates the west region. This report will be available to everyone and it will be used by the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity to fund future programs. Uh, you may be able to use this information when you're writing for grants in the future. And as I said, June 30th, 2008, it will be online at the Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation website.